Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, what's going on, folks? Hold on a minute. Let me do this real quick. Get off of here. And, uh, just wrapping. I'm just wrapping up a chat type thing. I have it on the internet. So, let's go in today. But first of all, let me let me do my usual thing here. You know who I am, and you know what I do. Today we're going to talk about the Presbyterian Church. Now, the Presbyterian Church, in their infinite wisdom, they changed their bylaws to recognize gay marriage. Now, the Presbyterian Church, in an effort to, as they say, they say in an effort to keep up with the times says Christians are allowed to recognize gay marriage. Now, let me put it to you this way before all you crybabies and all you haters roll in. I'm not talking about homosexuals at all. I'm, what I'm talking about, like, it's the message I'm trying to give to people is stand behind your word and stand behind your beliefs. Like, I can care less if two guys or two chicks want to get it on. They don't... It, it don't it don't mess with me. It don't it don't bother me. It's your life. You do what you want to do. But I'm talking about all these hypocritical people that come out of the woodwork. Now, as far as religion, now the Presbyterian Church overall, they're a part they're a part of the Protestants, which that's a different story altogether. But uh, the Presbyterian Church was the first church organization to ordain a, a, a homosexual minister. That's another, that's another topic I did for, uh, that's another boat ride to hell, but we'll go, we'll move on. But uh, they are, they are day the first homosexual minister, and uh, after this ruling, uh, this latest ruling by the whole, they, 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 had a, they had a conference, and what they did is they voted to the recognize gay marriage. I guess a lot of churches, and I do appreciate this, I do appreciate the fact that these people stuck by what they've done. But a lot of the Presbyterian churches, a lot of them, like left, like you'll probably see a lot of Southern Baptist ones. Like, like hey, this ain't us. Cause this is where fact they're Southern Baptists. Get, you know what I mean? But uh, the fact of the matter is, for me, is what, nowadays this is more increasing. This is more popular. You don't see a lot of religious. You'll see very, you'll see very few prominent religious people talk about how homosexuality has creeped in. To the mainstream and how it's you know to their your to your religion it's wrong. You don't hear nothing. I mean, like I said, you don't hear Joe Joe Osteen tap danced around it. T. J. Jakes he tap danced around it. And, and you know why they both of these guys tap danced around it because they take money from homosexuals. That's why. Why would you if, you, if you're taking money from homosexuals and, and groups of homosexuals? You'd be stupid to condemn homosexuality because then the checks would stop. It's how it is. Like TJ Jakes, I never trusted that dude to begin with. He, I, I always thought he was shady. What? You know, he's a man of God. He's taking money from homosexuals and you're preaching the word to me? I, I can preach the word to him. See, I was like, well, one friend here, he likes the guy because, well, he likes him because he likes his little dances and his little whatever he does but I, I just feel a type of way about those two guys because those two guys are kind of prominent in church like I appreciate what TJ Jakes does with the entrepreneurial stuff but when you come down to the homosexual stuff you need to stick by that you need to stand by your word because let, let me ask people I want I want consensus what you guys need to do, and then please don't compare other stuff. Oh, well, you shouldn't be eating shellfish. Well, you know, the first of September is a... I'm, I'm not trying to hear all that. You know, all right? That's a separate topic. If you want to get into me to do a video, you write about that. You know, write about something else. But today I'm talking about this. So every time you do a video like this, well, the Bible also says... And you know, you get all these uh, people going in the left field, and I'm not going to argue with all y'all. Y'all want to talk about what you talk about? Talk about. But like I said, I, I, I'm, I'm mad at a lot of the. Well, the first of all, the black church isn't keeping it real anymore. So nowadays, you're better off going to a to a Baptist 
Southern Baptist White Church. I hate to say this, they're going to a black church nowadays. But look, there are black churches to keep it real, but they're in the minority. Go figure. Like I said, but you got you got TJ Jakes, you got um Joe Olsen. When these guys get confronted with this with the homosexuality question, these guys tap dance around the topic. Well, God said love everybody. Didn't God burn a village for this? What part of the Bible are they are they missing? And I'm like, you guys give them all this money. And I mean, like I said, I have nothing against like the homosexual thing. It's it's your business. Uh, my point is, if if you have a belief, that, like I said, I was in the Baptist church from from what knee high to a be high. I was in the Baptist church, and all through that, that was that was. I mean, we all know there were people in church who had friends. You know, that's you know coming up. But it was never a big deal. Now with the proliferation of the homosexual lifestyle. People are saying, oh, we're just catching up to modern times. Look at your Bible. See, here's the here's the part. And I said this before, and it's a slippery slope, and I know this. But the fact remains is, if you let one act of deviancy, according to your Bible, go, there's other acts of deviancy that are sure to follow. And then you and then here's what kills me. I've been telling you, I told you in videos three years ago about how once the homosexuals got the right to marriage, you see all these kitty molesters, you see all these necrophiliacs, all these animal bestiality creepos trying to file for their rights in court. And guess what's happened in the last couple months? These freaks are filing for rights in their court. And then here's what kills me. You got people saying, well that's sick. Who are you to judge? You letting this slide. Your judgment is off. I can I can't believe anything you say. How can you say something sick? We endorse this something that's against your own religion. But then you also you want to be a beacon of light for somebody else? Come on, for real? Is it, it, that's what I said? This is it's, hypocr it's, hip it's hypocritic. You know, it's hypocrisy over here. But that's the problem I have. Like people are gonna say I'm going to all. You're coming to all. I can care less. Like I said. I uh, work with homosexuals, I have relatives who are homosexuals, I come in day-to-day -day contact as far as working with homosexuals. It's none of my business what you do in the, in, the, in the privacy of your own home. I can care less if two guys are walking down the street here holding hands. That's your business. What I'm saying is, if you're a church, and the Bible is so, the Bible since about, I say that, since about the 2000s, I'll say that, how's that? Since the 2000s, everybody wants to make the Bible more relatable to today's society. Well, from 2000 on up, the Bible was relatable to the society. In the year 2000, hit all of a sudden the Bible is no longer relatable. For religion in general. See, this is the problem I have. Like, guys like myself and women and other people, we're going to get condemned and, and here's the, the tactic they're going to use is we're hate mongers. I'm not a hate monger if you look at the principle I'm trying to talk to you about. I'm talking about it, and then please, and other people, please rip out other parts of the Bible which you don't believe. Matter of fact, why don't you guys just burn your Bibles? Like, it, it, like the church I used to go to back in Pennsylvania, I give, I give props to my, my, my minister. I'm not going to go deep into it because a lot of people are, are touchy feely about it, but what he's doing, I'm giving him props for what he's doing. But. I, well, the, well, well, here's the problem. If the Supreme Court decided that, like, five before the decision, by the way, that marriage is between a man and a woman, you're telling me God's law is now that the marriage is between a man and a man, or a woman and a woman, or a cat and a dog, or a male dog and a male dog? Is this what you guys are telling me? That's what you're saying. You're saying God sees us. They said, what would Jesus do? Jesus would have to lay down with Peter and Paul and the rest of the disciples to do that. And he and he didn't do that. He matter of fact, he made he made it where it's not in God's eye to do that. But since one of your relatives or one of your friends or since one of your grandchildren or aunts, nieces, sons, daughters, well, since one of them is gay, we can always change the word of God to fit them. Well, how about this? How about you change your lifestyle to fit your God that you practice? If that's the case about your God, don't cram your God down people's throats. Because you're hypocrites. All right, I'm out. Peace. Great guy. He's always on himself.